Hey guys, welcome to your home wood for another day. So our warm up today, we're just going one lot of each exercise. We're gonna start with 10 slow and controlled Jefferson curls. So we've done these before, leading from the head and then I guess thinking about folding each little vertebrae over until we get all the way down, holding for about two seconds to get a good hamstring stretch. You're gonna start with your feet just a little bit far apart, not too much. We're then gonna curl from the head, shoulders, each vertebrae aiming to try and separate each one. Feel it all the way down through your hamstring. Get down as far as you can and then try and relax for two seconds. Once you get down as far as you can, you're then going to aim to pull from the posterior to bring yourself back up. So unfolding and shoulders and head come last. You're going to do 10 reps of that. Once you've done 10, you're then going to do 20 toe touches each side. So you're going to stand on one leg and you're going to go all the way down to touch your toe and standing back up. So a bit of balance, a bit of ankle stability involved, nice little hamstring stretch. Once you've done 10 on one side, you're then going to do 10 on the other side. So as you can see, all our warm up to the movements today are nice and slow and controlled. You're then going to do 30 opposite arm, opposite leg supermans. So you're going to lift opposite arm opposite leg lift when you're doing this don't think about lifting too high rather think about being long so lift again lift for 30 reps you're then going to do a 40 second side plank each side we're just going to do it on our forearm as it is a warm-up think about pushing up through your hip and pushing up through this shoulder 40 seconds on one side all over and 40 seconds on the other side our isometric strength work today has a deadlift focus. So if you've got your straps, which hopefully you do, um, you're gonna stand on those straps with a normal or a conventional deadlift stance. So feet as normal, standing on the straps. You're then gonna adjust the straps. So you've got your high, medium and low pulls. And you're gonna do 10 seconds of a strong contraction at each, four rounds. So we'll have the straps here, pull for 10 seconds, then unstrap midway, pull as hard as you can for 10 seconds, then nearly all the way to standing, pull as hard as you can for 10 seconds. We have done this before, the difference is today, once you've gone and done those three different heights, you're then gonna do two to three dynamic jumps or movements uh, with a hip focus. So something like an overhead ball toss, something like a vertical jump for height, but aiming to have fairly um, straight legs, so you don't want to bend too much, bring it into the legs. You want to really explode those hips. If you've got a kettlebell, you can do sort of five really dynamic swings. So it's all about contrasting those two movements. And you're going to do that after each set with the isometric deadlift with the straps. If you don't have a strap, you are going to do what we did last week. So you're going to get a bench, a seat, anything you've got available to you around the house, a couch, but something that's not going to move you might want to have someone sit on your couch and you're going to set up as if you're doing a deadlift and you're going to pull as hard as you can for 30 seconds so the aim obviously is to not be able to move the object so contracting for 30 seconds just at that one height whatever works with what you've got available and then you're also going to superset that 30 second hold with two to three dynamic movements focusing on that hip extension so again Got our overhead tosses we've got our fairly stiff legged jumps um, and our kettlebell swings and you're going to do four sets of that as well and volume work again today um, no specific conditioning but it's going to feel like conditioning but it's strength endurance work so the first one is going to be five rounds 60 seconds of max air squats followed by a 60 second hold at the bottom of a squat followed by 60 seconds of sitting back on your feet no rest in between your aim is to get as many squats as possible so you're going to air squat as normal at the end of 60 seconds you're going to go straight down into the bottom of a squat hold no hands on the ground just hold here it's also going to be really good for your mobility as well but it's loading up my um, legs already once you get to the end of 60 seconds again you're going to come down and sit back on your feet 60 seconds at the end of that standing up you're going to start the cycle again with 60 seconds worth of air squats 60 seconds at the bottom of the hold and 60 seconds sitting back. You're going to do that for five rounds with no rest. The 
second part of our strength endurance or our volume work today is focused on the upper body. So you're going to do five rounds of 60 seconds max push-ups, 60 seconds holding at the top of a push-up or plank position, and 60 seconds at the bottom of that push-up position. No rest once again. So remember with those push-ups, no thigh touch, no worming, staying nice and strong and straight. Remember, you can scale on your knees. Once you get to the end of the 60 seconds, you're going to go straight into a plank hold. So don't let yourself sag down through the middle. Make sure your butt isn't too high. You want to be nice and flat. Once you get to the end of 60 seconds here, you're then going to go down to the bottom. You're not holding your body weight at the bottom of the pusher. You've just got your hands in nice and close, so you still are going to feel some blood restriction here. At the end of 60 seconds, the cycle obviously starts again. Straight into your push up, 60 seconds worth, a 60 second plank, and 60 seconds at the bottom. That is going to get super toasty on your arms. So we want to see how many push ups you can get. And we're aiming to fatigue those arms as much as possible um, because for tomorrow's piece, we are going to have another long um, aerobic piece. So your body's going to get somewhat of a rest.